quick spoiler PSA. If you haven't seen the video where my Rube Goldberg machine actually runs, the link to that is in the very top of the description. Seeing that video will help you understand all of this. All right, so it starts with burning the paper to drop the ball bearing, which falls into a cup and lifts up the block, knocks over a lever and a marble hits a hammer, which knocks a tennis ball through some dust hose and then takes out the dowel, which releases the water. I did this so many times it used to be pink and then yellow and finally just clear water. That fills up another seesaw, which releases this pin so that the tape measure on wheels can hit another lever, which opens up a hinge and a tennis ball rolls and eventually knocks a clamp over. That clamp puts tension on a string, which pulls out another pin, allowing the locks to fall and pull out the first magnetic shotgun shell. That releases the blue tape, which knocks off another stick and drops a weight, releasing another magnetic shotgun shell. The speed square slides down the rope, knocking out another dowel which drops a weight and activates the driver. Running in reverse, that piece of wood goes up, pulls on this string, and drops the roller, which spins around the pole and bumps into another horizontal lever. That pulls out a trap door and the ball falls and bounces into a basket. That pulls out a magnet and the little norm car goes rolling down before bumping into a file, then another tennis ball, before falling in this cup. The cup releases a coping saw, and here's where the machine takes a bit of a left turn. What's supposed to happen is the coping saw bumps the bench cookie into another bench cookie, and the tennis ball goes through the dust hose, opening up another hinge door. The marbles zigzag through, falling into a cup, which lifts another cup, and bumps the D battery into the pink cup. This is meant to open the mechanism that holds the ear protection. But what ended up happening is the tennis ball cup activated the ear protection mechanism. That slides down the string and knocks off the hand plane. That opens the door for the circular saw blade to begin swinging. It pops a balloon with three marbles inside on a funnel, which rolls down the track and starts knocking over some dominoes. The last domino is on a hinge, which puts tension on the string, pulling out this little tab, and the paint can rolls underneath of this other slide. That pulls out a screw, allowing the magnetic level to begin sliding down. You may have caught this, but it gets hung up, but luckily the swinging circular saw blade hits this little dinosaur that I put there just for decoration. That was enough to shake free the pink golf ball. That hits a lever which knocks out a pin and a grinding wheel falls which releases the axe. The axe cuts a string and a tennis ball catapult is activated. That falls into a big seesaw which lifts this glove holding a spoke shave and sends the marbles down their spiraling path. They collect in a bucket which gets heavy enough to lift a weight attached to a string and another golf ball rolls down. That lifts up on the basketball ramp which rolls over, knocks out another stick, and a trim router falls, which has enough weight to activate the planer. The ramrod eventually hits a pad, which pulls out a pin, and the spray paint behind a hinged door can begin rolling down. They bump into a magnet-to-magnet -magnet connection, which drops a clamp onto a double seesaw situation and begins a tennis ball rolling. That knocks out a Play-Doh cup filled with hardware, pulling up on the scissors, cutting the twine, and setting the death ball free. Now I just need to figure out what to do with all this useless one-purpose ramps and doodads hanging around the show. Thanks for watching, we'll see you on the next one.